Hey guys, it's Mish here and welcome back to another battery review. Today we'll be taking a look at the VapPower 266550 lithium ion battery. This is unprotected, it claims 5200 milliamp hour and it claims a constant discharge of 20 amps. As you can see here, it has no connection piece between the top and bottom. It's completely smooth around the whole thing and there's no indent at the bottom part. So this is definitely an unprotected battery as well as obviously the fact that it is not marketed as protected. I purchased this one for just under 17 Australian dollars and it's currently available for $12.50 USD. It's got a five star average rating over there with 17 reviews. So that is quite a good average. Five stars out of 17 reviews shows that this is definitely a good sell in the first place, but we wanna see exactly what it can do. All right, now we'll have a look at the physical appearance of this battery. So you can see the writing there, that's all of the information, most of the stuff you need. Then you have the warnings on the back, which seem to be written uh, in decent English, which is nice. You've got the vent holes at the top, four large vent holes in case this thing goes up in flames on the inside. <laughs> um, a nice green color. Let's compare that to this. This is a dark green kind of blue color Olight battery. So you can see this one's quite light in its color. As for its weight, this definitely feels good for its weight. Um, these are reasonably weighted batteries because they're both good quality, as you can see. If we compare the sizes of these, the 18650 is slightly taller, this one. Um, considering that this is not protected, I would have expected it to be slightly shorter, considering this is a 69.5 millimeter battery but apparently they're not that much different. And there's a comparison of the two from the top. You can see the 26, 6550 is 26, should be 26 millimeters in diameter, and 18650 is 18 millimeters in diameter. So this one is significantly bigger. Let's have a look at the voltage it was shipped at in storage. 3.61 volts. It's a little bit lower than I would have expected. Uh, would have expected something more like 3.75, 3.8, but it's not too bad, so it'll be okay. I'll be using this to discharge it down to about 3 volts before charging it back up uh, to full voltage, 4.7 volts, and we'll see how much capacity we get off this. As you can see, the battery has now been discharged to 3 volts. Let's move that out of the way and put it in this charger. This is going to take a very long time to charge considering I don't have a 1 amp charger. So this is only going to be charging at half an amp. Uh, but regardless, I shall now start it from 3 volts and we'll see how far it gets. So 11 hours later, this battery has passed its rated capacity by 46 milliamp hour. This is absolutely insane. I've never seen something be able to do this. I would never expect something from 3 volts to get up past its rated capacity, or even like 20 off it. That is actually pretty crazy. Let's have a look at what voltage this has got to now. 4.17 I believe. I shall remove it from the charger to give you a better view. And that would be the wrong way. Alright, so 4.16, 4.17, it was charging around there. So you got it all the way up full. And it got to crazily past 5,200. And 5,200 is already big. Keep in mind this was its first charge ever, and first discharge and charge cycle, so it will degrade, but that's 
insane for a first charge. This thing is definitely great, especially for something like a flashlight torch where you need, uh, where you don't need something really powerful in its discharge ratings, but you do want lots of capacity. This absolutely has it. Well, that just about wraps up my review of this wonderful battery right here. I won't be doing a discharge test because you can look at what your torch is rated at or whatever product you're using it at uh, and figure that out yourself. But just know that this rated capacity, it absolutely achieves and could even surpass depending on what you're doing with it, how much you're discharging it, whatever. That is really good. Next one I'll be doing a review on is this one. So look out for that if you're still deciding. This has a lower claim capacity. I'm not sure what the discharges are yet, but if you want to go and find out, then take a look at my review of the key power 266550 4500 mAh. And there you go. If you want to buy this battery, there'll be links in the description to the Banggood link I got it from, or you can try to find it somewhere else, but I absolutely recommend Banggood. Great site. It's got reviews on there. They're all legitimate reviews, I can say that. All the reviews on Banggood are legitimate. I can say that from experience shopping on the site. I've seen lots of reviews on there, lots of products, and it's all great. I've bought lots from there. I can guarantee it's a great site, and you definitely want to go in the description, go to that link, and buy this if you are going to. And uh, that's really all. If you have any questions about this, then you can ask in the comments. And if there are any issues in the future with this, I will make sure to leave a note on the video. That's all.